Hi everyone, welcome back to J&J Beekeeping. It's been a while. Um, it's the 8th of June and um, Jake's just performing a quick task here. The green hive is our original hive and um, that was looking really good in May, uh, beginning of May, end of April and um, was looking like it was about to swarm. So we did a nucleus split, uh, moved the queen into the poly hive that Jake's looking at now and um, we did an inspection on both hives on Sunday just gone, it's now Wednesday. In the poly hive we've seen the queen, it's all looking good, they're starting to expand so the original queen is in that hive and in the green hive we had a look, the queen cell has been opened um, which indicates the queen did emerge and we did a 21 day inspection on Sunday but we couldn't see the queen, we couldn't see any eggs or larvae um, so we're hoping it's just a little bit too soon and uh, we've given it another week so on Sunday another four days time we're going to do another inspection um, and hopefully find the queen or some eggs, evidence of the queen in this green hive and then they'll start picking up again on the honey production etc uh, etc et so what Jake is doing he's just doing a, a rough, uh, he's just He's got his timer on his phone and a pen and paper and um, he's just counting the bees coming into each hive carrying pollen uh, because it's a rough, a rough guideline that um, if a queen right colony, if a, a colony with a queen present, uh, the, the pollen coming in will be, will be um, quite plentiful but if there isn't a queen uh, there won't be much pollen coming in and the magic kind of guideline figure I think is about 10. So. Um, Jake did tell me that the first time he, he, he timed the polyhive just then, that was the second one we just saw, but the first time he did it, it was 18 in a minute. So that just confirms really loads of pollen coming in. There's a queen in the hive and he's just about to check the, the green hive. So this is the interesting one. Uh, just me watching it or us watching it from a distance, we can see quite a lot coming in. So I'm actually, um, this is a good sign. But Jake, the scientist, is going to now um, get a more accurate reading for us. So we're hoping for well over 10. I can see lots coming in here actually, so I'm really encouraged by this. I'm not going to speak to Jake at the moment because he's concentrating with the counting. But that implies, it's not, um, not definite, but it, it gives us an indication that there's a good chance that there's a, a queen in there. There's the beeper. How many was that, Jake? Uh, eight. Only eight? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll do another one. I thought I saw lots, Jake. Uh, but obviously they all came in. Up. Okay. Right, let's do the second one. I'll just pause the video and then we'll restart it. Okay, so Jake's about halfway through his second um, his second observation. So we were disappointed with eight. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that might pick up this time. But um, if it's if that's the kind of amount coming in compared to the other one. I suppose it's looking a bit dodgy and we'll have to confirm things on Sunday when we do our um, inspection. What we have learnt, we probably did inspect a week too soon and uh, the key I think when doing splits is to be patient and let the new queen settle down. How many was that Jake? Uh, ten. Ten, so eight and ten, so there's about ten on the green hive so that might indicate there's a queen in there. Um, we'll do a we'll do the same again over the next few days and um, we'll do our inspection on Sunday. Okay so we're three days later now Jake's gonna have another look I actually had a look two days ago and there were uh, 15 bees with pollen in a minute going into the wooden hive so we're a little bit more optimistic when Jake did his had his look the other day it was only I think eight or nine so we were thinking maybe something had happened or the, the queen, the new queen hadn't returned or hadn't settled down to laying 
but uh, after what I saw the other day, we're a bit more optimistic. So Jake's just um, having a look now. How many, Jake? Uh, 14. So that's pretty good. Why don't you do one more time? He's just writing that down, okay. So that's pretty good. That's um, cause for optimism. I think it's a, just a very rough yardstick, but I think uh, if there's more than 10 bees a minute entering the hive with pollen, that would indicate that it's likely to be a queen right hive. Um, so he's just gonna do one more. I've got a bee annoying me. I haven't, I haven't got my suit on, so I'm just going to pause it and... Oh, no, not. It's gone. It's gone. Our inspection is planned for tomorrow, and we're going to be patient and wait, wait for tomorrow. And that would be a month after the uh, queen cell is hatched. So there should be plenty of time. And uh, if we can't find a queen or evidence that she's laying, then it might be the case that we'll have to put a frame of eggs in to see if um, to start again with a queen cell because we, we want to we don't want to, to to get to a laying worker situation how many jake uh, 12. 12 so that's pretty good what do you think okay. he's just going to do his maths so what's the average jake uh, 13. 13 a minute. Yeah. That's pretty good. And I saw just in a one minute interval the other day, I saw 15. So we're pretty optimistic, I think, are we? Yeah, now I need to check the polyhive. Do you want to check the polyhive now just for comparison? Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll pause it quickly. Okay, Jake's into position. So this is the Queen Wright hive. Um, the original queen that we moved across when we did our nucleus transfer. And I think the average was about 15 per minute three days ago when Jake did it. So we just thought this would be good for a comparison. Okay, how many was that, Jake? Uh, 15. 15, so they're basically the same, weren't they? So uh, I think we'll take a lot of optimism from that and um, hope that 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 would imply that there's a queen in both hives and um, we'll know for sure tomorrow we'll put a note on the end of this video. Thanks for watching everyone, bye.